It's a big question. Um, hard hitting. It is hard hitting. I think I would say from like a mentality perspective, just like being really honest about progress. Mm -hmm. um, and progress, it sometimes has like a nonlinear path, just like I think even like career trajectory and, and playing time or like whatever's going on with you, like, again, it's gonna be its own journey that's specific and unique to you. So you have to be willing to be transparent and honest with yourself, um, you know, if you're coming up short or if, uh, you know, you're, you're acting out of character or, um, you know, you're not giving enough to, you know, this relationship in your life or this skill that you said that you wanted to build and develop, but like, you're not really doing it. Like just sort of scheduling that time to really look inward has been very valuable for me. Um, and I've been able to access it in a couple different ways, like whether it's like journaling, writing, um, just, you know, looking in the mirror or, uh, I do like two things. So one thing I do is like, I have a personal holiday, which I recommend that everyone adopts and it could be your Jersey number if it's falls in the days of the month or whatever number you choose. So every month on the 23rd, I have like a little personal day, even if I'm going into the office or I have a game or whatever, but every month I just make sure that I am checking in with myself. I'll treat myself to a coffee or like a scoot around the park, you know, with a jam and playlist or uh, something like that to just like schedule the moment uh, mm -hmm. to check in with yourself so that you can you know, have those inward conversations. Um, and then it also comes out for me through music. So like I sing and songwrite, uh, you know, on the, on the side of the side, um, which has been like really therapeutic for me. So just like figure out what works for you. And, and that's something that works for me. Um, and I can do consistently, uh, as long as I schedule the time. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. Personal, I love that. Personal. Personal. Every month. Heard yeah, it. well, it's great because it's like it's frequent enough uh, that you can sustain it, right? And that you have something to look forward to. Um, mm -hmm. But it's infrequent enough where it still feels really special. Yeah. And sometimes it sneaks up on you, which is my favorite. And you look down and you're just like, oh my God, it's the 23rd. Like, <laughs> I'm going to go take a walk, you know? Do so, you, yeah. You check out, do you kind of just like check out from like all like, other people and like social media on that day and just kind of like just keep to yourself or you try to incorporate some other people on into your personal holidays or how do you do that yeah I think it depends I think um that's the other beauty about like how flexible it is and and how you do get it every month of the year so like I think I'll have a, a moment of reflection that um, is consistent throughout and I'll just like figure out what I need. And if it's alone time, I'll take alone time. If it's social time, I'll schedule social time. Or if it's, you know, reconnecting with family over Zoom or, you know, FaceTime or anything like that, I'll do it. Maybe it's baking a pie, like one of my favorite things to do ever. Like I think staying really flexible with it um, to give yourself that opportunity to, that opportunity to like zero in on what you need but have it be structured enough where you're not just gonna be like oh like that's stupid that's a stupid thing i came up with when i was you know 25 and now i'm 26 